how to make tortillas in your air fryer. Let's go! I'm using a Philips Air Fryer XXL for this recipe. I'm also using the baking accessory to make the whole filling for the tortillas. So I have uh, minced meat, this is pork 50% and 50% uh, beef. And you can also hear that uh, it's already sizzling because I preheated my air fryer to the maximum. This is 200 degrees Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit. So first I'm going to bake this minced meat. I set the temperature to 180 degrees Celsius in the timer 10 minutes. I'm going to use this mix with Mexican vegetables. I have some uh, jalapenos, some seasoning, and I'm using these wraps, which are 35% with carrots, so let's try it out. I opened the back of the vegetables and I'm pouring in a little bit of oil. You can also do this in a bowl, of course, but I'm uh, lazy. <laughs> I'm just doing it in the bag. Just squash it around a little bit and then that's uh, fine enough. I also grabbed some sriracha sauce to add some kick to the tortillas. The meat is turning uh, brown already, so I'm going to put in a little bit of these spices. So I'm turning off the air fryer because this is almost like a powder. If you don't do that, then it will blow away because of the fan of this air fryer. So let's first stir it around and then uh, we close the air fryer and press start again, so it continues. I'm also going to add some jalapenos to this mix. It also has some nice flavor to it. So after five minutes, I'm going to put in uh, the vegetables. All right, so the minced meat is done. Look at this. And because I've made it in the baking tray, yeah, it looks really nice. It looks pretty good, as you can see. So this is already seasoned with a little bit of that uh, spice mix. And now I'm going to add the vegetables. So the vegetables just go on top of it. Like that. Put it on top and spread it out a little bit. So I close it and then run it again for 10 minutes. Before I continue, uh, the reason I'm using a baking tray is that everything stays together inside the air fryer instead of I'm using the normal frying basket. These vegetables are really small and if you don't use a baking tray, it can fall through it and with this air fryer it can also fly around in your air fryer. Yeah, because of this baking tray, it is uh, closed off at the bottom of course, it just uh, stays in place. So I'm going to run this for 10 minutes. All right, so we are almost five minutes in. So it looks really good, I think. I'm going to pour a little bit of the jalapeno liquid. Just a little bit. Also doing some shiracha. And some of this um, seasoning. It's basically almost done. So I'm going to put it in uh, for a few more minutes and just check how, how it goes. If it's done, then it's done, you know. So I think five minutes is fine right now. So it is on 180 uh, Celsius. So if you need to convert it into your into Fahrenheit, I think it's around 370. So here's the end result of the filling for the tortillas. So we're going to remove the basket from the air fryer, and I'm using these oven mitts. They're really convenient to use because I can grab it like this and just put it here. And here you can see that the air fryer is still clean. That's also really nice. Let's put it on there. Something like this. And then I'm going to put some nice sauces with some cheese. Also some sriracha. A little bit of mayonnaise. And now we're going to close off this tortilla. Make a nice nice package all right I'm going to make two of these all right so we have two yeah small burritos really nice and as you can see there's still enough filling left I think you can have three to four of these uh, these burritos so it's for maybe two to three people 
So I'm going to put these right now in the air fryer to heat them up a little bit and get them a little bit crispy. I've added a little bit of the sauce on top of it. That's completely optional. You can also put some chili sauce on top of it or whatever you like. Let's close it off. And I'm going to turn down the heat a little bit to 170 degrees Celsius. And I think four minutes is fine. Let's see how that goes. So here are the leftovers. I can store it away in the fridge when it's uh, cooled down. Let's have a look how things are going inside the air fryer. Yes, I think it looks really nice. It's getting nice brown and toasty. So let's put it back just 30 more seconds. And if you think it needs longer, then you can do it longer, of course. But uh, I think this is uh, fine enough. And you can see what's left inside the baking tray. A little bit of grease, but you can clean this very easily. I always recommend to do this uh, with some dish soap and, uh, and a sponge. Clean it that way. And never put these uh, parts inside of the dishwasher. And this is what it looks like. I think it looks amazing. It also smells amazing. It's super easy to make. Nice burrito. So here we've got one. And here we have the second one. Looks really good. This is what the air fryer looks like right now from the inside. Basically clean. So, so here we have the center part of the tortilla or the burrito. Burritos from the air fryer. I think it looks really good. And uh, let's see how it tastes. Excellent. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.